Massey, the director of Mineral County Library. Do you like to draw? I do. So why don't you grab some paper, a crayon, marker, pencil, whatever you like to use, and come draw with me. Now I'm not showing you the finished picture because whenever you start art, you maybe have something in your mind, but you're never really sure how it's going to turn out. So just come along and do the things that I do. First, we're going to start with a circle right here. Then we're going to draw two more circles, just like that, a little bit higher on each side of that. And don't worry about it being perfect. Use some nice bold lines. Great. Now down here, we're going to draw some arch shapes, just up and over, up and over, up and over. That one's a little bit more on its side. Excellent. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval around here. We're not going to draw in front of these shapes, but we're going to imagine where the line goes and draw behind it so that it looks like it's one long line, just like that. Now we're going to draw a half circle here and a half circle here. Not a perfect circle, just a shape. A straight line from here down to that half circle, and the same thing on this side. So this is actually a bowl shape. So we're going to imagine that where that line goes, come along and draw a bottom in here, just like that. Nice. Now remember these arch shapes, we're going to do some bigger ones up here, connecting this circle to that circle. And down below, we're going to do the same thing, just like that. Perfect. All right. Now, down below this basket here, we're going to draw two straight lines. Now, this one, you're going to go across and big sloping line back. And same thing over here, across and big sloping line back. Nice. Now let's come back up here and we're going to, not right in the center, but over here on the side, we're going to draw a sloping line down to that bowl shape and the other side too, sloping line down, just like that. Excellent. All right, once again, we're going to do those arch shapes. We're going to put one here and we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put smaller ones inside there smaller one here and a smaller one here. Now inside those shapes, we're going to put an open circle. Don't fill it in. This is like the pupil of your eye where light is reflected. Perfect. All right, we're going to come back down here and we're going to put some nice, nice toes there. You might be thinking that you know what this is now, maybe. Let's see. Now on these shapes here, we're going to put it back right there, another rounded shape, just like that. And let's put some little marks here, kind of look like paws, don't they? Well, we'll see. All right, now right below this nose shape, draw straight down and a little smile. And how about two big teeth? And then this will really show you what it is. We're going to come up here, top of the head, and go way up and back in. And same thing on this side, except we're going to make it floppy. It's going to come up, flop down, go back in, not all the way, and draw a line down. And then let's put a nice big over there, nice big over here. Great. Okay, now using some nice bold strokes, Give them some whiskers. Always use bold strokes. Don't be afraid to make nice big strokes. All right, now down here in this basket, let's put some of that grass that you find in an Easter basket. Nice little curving lines all over the place. And later when you decorate this, you can color them blue, green, pink, whatever you want to color them. Now, since these are Easter eggs, we have to decorate them. 
So let's put some crazy lines. I'm going to put a zigzag and then maybe some jewel shapes that I can color in later, ruby or emerald or sapphire. We'll use some polka dots here. Do big polka dots, little polka dots, whatever you want to do. That's cute. And then I think we have to have stripes. Just like that. Nice. Now the eggs have to be in probably a woven Easter basket. So let's put some lines on here that make it look like it's woven. Now instead of straight up and down lines, we're going to curve them slightly, following that same kind of curve that you already see there. Curving. That makes it appear that it's kind of rounded. Now when you get to the middle, it straightens up and then it starts curving the other direction. Just like that. All right, now we're going to do lines the other direction, following this line. I'm going to follow that shape around, just sweep it around, sweep it around, sweep it around. Now, just like a hand-woven basket, we have some imperfections, and that's okay. Imperfections make things interesting. Now, since it's a special bunny, I think we have to give him a cute bow tie, so let's put sort of a square circle here. A nice big floppy bow. Same thing over here. I'm going to put some lines here that kind of suggest some shape to it, some roundedness. Okay, there you have the Easter Bunny with his basket. What I would like you to do is take your drawing and color it, decorate it, maybe um, collage it with tissue paper. And I would love it if you would post them back to this page. I'd love to see your creativity, your imagination. And I hope brothers, sisters, parents, everyone will get involved because it's really fun to see how people interpret different things. All right. Well, thank you for joining Draw With Me. And until next time, bye-bye.